talent and unconditional commitment to excellence. Stay with us for all the live action from the Emirates. Arsenal against Manchester City. Great night to be a spectator. Perfect weather here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. A glorious chance. The first gun of the game, they're off and running. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee's stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. Well, you can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That's a bad challenge. Not messing around with that clearance. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. He continues his run. He read the situation defensively and did his job. De Bruyne. And cleared away. Possession one. City move it forward with purpose. But nothing comes of it. Unable to keep the ball. A challenge from Gundogan. Mares. It's looking promising. Oh no, it's gone a begging. Well, they can't miss opportunities like that. What a chance to equalise. tackling it is advantage Manchester City here he made it look simple really a City free kick forthcoming and a chance to level it and he snuffed out the danger physically strong and secure on the ball given away by Arsenal 
Defensive efficiency personified. Losing possession. Oh, good looking run. Can they keep it out? Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Possibility for Obama Yang. What a vital intervention. On and on he goes. It's there for him. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Oh, a second goal for them here. Over the touchline for a throw-in. An effective challenge. Jack has lost the ball. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, magnificent reaction. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, what we saw in the first half was really terrific from Thomas Partey. What would you say about his contribution? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. And he's taken it away. Kevin De Bruyne on the move. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And breaking at pace with Menace. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Time tackle. Granite Jacker. Making progress. 
but they dealt with the threat first. Now, counter attack. Oh, it was a terrible looking challenge and a big decision for the official here. And the referee has shown him the red card and his day is done. Yeah, they were in complete control of this game. Now they're going to have to defend really well. It did look on for them, but not to be. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. But quick thinking defensively. Well, the counter chance looks very real. All hands on deck. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Takes it on. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number eight, Elkai Dunderwein. To be replaced by number 20, Bernardo Silva. We're really closing him down here. Running with the ball confidently. But really sticking to their task defensively. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch. Number 16. So the corner played into the box but he dealt with that ball played in rather well getting the better of his opponent well he has cause to be grateful to his teammate just 10 minutes to go Well, far too much elevation there. A change in the offing for City. Number 47, Phil Foden. To be replaced by number 7, Raheem Sterling. Well, this game ebbing away and Arsenal have been brilliant, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, that's clear. Showing a lot of guile there. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Great opportunity. And still a chance. Threat over for now, it seems. Sterling. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? 
Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. He acquitted himself well, didn't he, Thomas Partey? What did you make of him? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.